Whew. All right, Candace, I had a great workout. How about you? It was wonderful. Awesome. So I'm heading back to the office, but I don't know about you, I really wish that I had something that would like fuel me up and get me ready for the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, why don't we meet back at uh, Roxy? Cool. Hello, everybody. This is another episode of Hallmark Eats. I am Chris, your co-host, as always, on HHM TV. And with me today is one of our fantastic loan officers from the upper northeast Indiana region. This is Candace Smith. Candace, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Yeah, thank you. I'm happy to be here. All right, so Candace, we've got a really special episode today. We have our workout clothes on. We just got in a good little workout, but now we're going to get something to kind of help us fuel us through the day and put back some of the nutrients that we might have lost through the workout. What do we got? So today I thought I would share this very simple recipe. It's packed with protein and it kind of lets you feel like you're cheating a little bit. So when you're, you know, making waffles or pancakes, they're very filling and you know, all those carbs, especially with women, we like to be fit. And sure. so today I thought I'd do a protein packed waffle that's super simple on the go and it just fuels you for the day. I love that, I love that. So talk to me a little bit about the nutrition side of things because I know that not only do you help people through the financial health, you actually want to help people through the nutritional health as well. So talk to me about some of the nutrition that's going to be going into these waffles. Sure, so a lot of time when you are thinking like long-term goals, you know, you think about financial stuff, but you don't think about your health. And I think people take that for granted more than anything is your health. Everyone wakes up every morning, they get up, they get out of the bed, and then, you know, they grab a soda, they grab a coffee, but really you need to start your day off with some protein. So sure. this is a great way to get your protein in in the morning. Okay, so to start this recipe, I'm gonna make four servings. So you start with your bananas, which are healthy, so if you're making just one serving, you're gonna use half a banana, but for today's purpose, I'm gonna make a batch. So I'm gonna make enough servings for four people. So you just toss in your bananas. And then for the recipe, again, if you're making one batch, you only need one egg, half a banana, and one scoop of protein. But okay. if you're making four, I'm gonna go ahead and throw four eggs in here. Cool. So as we're getting the eggs ready, let's talk a little bit about the financial health, health aspect of things and what you do. So. There's a few things that I think people maybe overlook. Uh, just the same way they're overlooking their health in the morning, people may not be thinking about you know, long-term goals and things like that with their own financial situation. So talk to me a little bit about how you are helping people in your neck of the woods. Sure, so because I have a financial advisor background, it allows me to look at the whole picture. So instead of just going and doing a transaction as a loan officer, I can encompass looking at everything from your whole debt that you have, all your liabilities, you know, do you have a college fund set up for your kids? Do you have life insurance so that if something happens, your mortgage is covered? So it kind of encompasses everything. So I like to talk for a good half an hour to an hour with my clients to talk about, you know, all aspects. Do you have enough insurance? Do you have long-term care? So it's not just a mortgage transaction. It's a lifelong relationship. So now, you would normally add just one scoop of whatever protein powder you want. This one's a cinnamon cookie batter. And it's one scoop if you're making one serving, but I'm making four. So I'm gonna add in four. Cool. Three, four, and again, I do love the blueberry, but today I'm gonna do the cinnamon cookie batter. Okay. And then you just blend it all up. So I'm gonna go over here and blend this up real quick. It already smells awesome, by the way. So you mentioned talking to people about their situation, looking at all their liabilities and everything else they might be having in their in their situation talk to me a little bit about you know maybe people getting some maybe not so conventional ways of, of funding uh, their home their home financing you know sure so if you have a 401k or some sort of retirement plan a lot of clients don't realize that they can tap into that without any penalties so you could do what's called a loan against your 401k. Now, each employer has their own rules if you can tap into it, so you would want to reach out to your HR person. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, you can borrow against your own 401k, and really, you're just paying yourself back. So that's one way that if you don't have $10,000 lying around for the down payment, then yeah. you can tap into something like that. If somebody wants to get started in those conversations, what's the best way for them to contact you? So you can reach me at my cell phone number, 260-444-8804, or you can hit me up. Um, my website has my email address, csmith at the number one hallmark.com. Awesome, easy, easy peasy. About how long does it take for them to get uh, to ready to go? So about a minute, minute and a half, this little green light will click on. 
they'll be done. And then I'm gonna whip up a little side that gives you even more protein to kind of add as a topping. And yeah, once these pop out, I'll show you how to do that. That sounds awesome. All right, so Candace, you are primarily up in the Northern Lakes area of, of Indiana, right? Yes. And I think a lot of people think lakes, they think second homes, but they also may think retirement. What are some things that can help people out who are just getting those thoughts around about retirement and maybe getting another property out there? Sure, so if you have even parents that are thinking about retiring, instead of just saying, okay, they're gonna retire, we're gonna use their social security to qualify for a house, it may make sense to talk to a loan advisor to see if they can even qualify because we have to prove that they're gonna have a continuous income for three years. So when we're talking about mortgages, maybe to get that nice, beautiful lake house, they may wanna keep their job for a little bit longer, qualify for the house, and then retire. Okay, okay. So they can use both incomes, the social security and Ah, I got gotcha. you. So it has to be a three year consistent, Continu continuous income. income. Okay. All right, folks, moment of truth. These are ready to go. And voila, look at these golden wow. babies. Wow. Oh my gosh. Are those beautiful? Absolutely. All right, so eat your heart out, Waffle House. These are really where it's at. Uh, what do we got for the topping now? So if you want more protein, I like to use um, a Greek yogurt. It doesn't matter which brand, okay. but it's packed with protein. This provides 17 grams of protein for a serving, which we'll probably use about a half. So nice. that's about eight grams additional. Okay. So this recipe in total, if you count your macros, you're at about 40 grams of uh, protein right off the bat first thing wow. in the morning. Wow, 40 grams of protein. So I just add a little bit into a bowl okay. and then Women especially love to have beautiful glowing skin. So I yes. use a collagen powder. And again, it doesn't matter which kind. I mean, I like that glowing skin too, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> you should talk to my husband. He would love that too. <laughs> so this also has some protein in it. So between the topping and this, we're gonna okay. be a total of 40 grams of protein. Wow. And this has a chocolate flavor. So it literally tastes like you're having dessert on top of your waffle. And everything is healthy too. That's the biggest thing that's like gonna blow people's minds, I feel like, because you usually can't eat like this and have it be healthy at the same time. No. Oh, that's great. Okay, now I'm gonna top up some strawberries. And this is where the judgment begins because I don't like strawberries. Oh no. Okay, now we're gonna top these. Just do a dollop of this. Nice. And then for you, since you are not big on strawberries, I have this coconut whip. Yes. So for two tablespoons, again, only 10 calories, and it has one gram of sugar. So hardly now any sugar. Now you speak my language. I'm good with that. Nice. Voila. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so grab a, grab a fork here, let's dig in. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one over here. We got some room. You always gotta have a proper whipped cream to waffle ratio. I feel like I'm pretty good here with this bite. It's good. Cheers. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. It tastes just like a waffle. It does. You gotta try this topping too. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. That's really good. I can already feel my skin glowing. I can, <laughs> I can. All right, once again, Candace, thank you so much for being a part of the show. This is amazing, and I really appreciate you giving some of the advice to the people out there as far as their financial health and also their nutritional health, too. What you're doing is amazing. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And once again, guys, this is Hallmark Eats. My name is Chris with Hallmark Home Mortgage Television, or as we like to call it around the office, HHN TV. We're going to keep doing these episodes. If you have a little bit of suggestions or maybe a tweak you might want to try with this, leave it in the comments below. Let's have a little bit of a conversation about it. Go find the great things in your community, and we will see you next time. I need some.